Hey, what's up, guys? It's Shooky J, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to massively increase your hard drive speed by sacrificing some of your RAM. Now, just before we start, I'd like to add that as a minimum requirement, I would suggest at least 8 gigs of RAM because Windows 7 is capable of running well on 4 gigs of RAM. So, if you allocate 4 gigs of RAM to this program, it will leave 4 gigs for your system which is the smoothest thing you can get so allocate half of your memory basically so the way to do this is you go into your internet browser and you type in memory.datram.com and it'll bring you to this page and you can see that they have all sorts of programs but what you're looking for is this downloads and purchases thing and you're gonna download the free software it says it's a limited feature freeware and it gives you a 4 gigabyte limit but for most people that's really not going to be that big of a deal so once you download it it's going to install and you're going to want to open up the file that it installed to your desktop if it hasn't already been run and once you open it up it's going to bring up this big logo and once it's done loading you actually should be able to configure your RAM disk now I already have it running so you're going to see that I have a 4 gigabyte RAM disk and it saves it on the shutdown and it loads a disk image that already exists. So once you first install it you would have to hit start RAM disk and you can stop it at any time just by clicking stop. So I know you're probably wondering how is this going to help me in any way so let me just demonstrate for you with a neat little program called Parkview and or no Parkdale my mistake. So if you go to this link, which I will also be putting in the description, you will download the Parkdale software, and I will just show you exactly what Parkdale does. It does a zip file, and you can open it right within the zip. It doesn't need to be unzipped or anything like that. So it brings up this little hard drive indicator, and then you can choose a 1 gigabyte file and a 1 megabyte block size. And first off, we are going to test a standard hard drive that most people are familiar with. So, as you can see, it's not that impressive. We're getting almost 70 megabytes write speed. It's actually going down as we speak. So, we can't really say that's good or bad, but most of you should know that that's not nearly good enough for some of the applications you need to run. So, this is just to give you an idea of the kind of speeds you're dealing with on a regular hard drive with platters and spinning parts so we don't need to see the random speed so we'll just stop it right there but one thing I am gonna wanna show you is the RAM disk speeds so we're just gonna close this out and we're gonna open it back up again so we can do the RAM disk speed for you guys so now you can see that it's a 4 gigabyte RAM disk and just to verify it does actually come up in Windows Explorer and you can see that there are a few Bandicam videos, which is the recording software I use at the moment. So, 4GB RAM disk, we're just going to use the standard settings and start it. And as you can see, this is a tremendous improvement because it would be faster if I were not currently recording to the disk. But you can get a 2.2 gigabyte per second. That means that you are capable of transferring a 2.2 gigabyte file in one second. That's insane. And if you're just randomly accessing a file from it, you get 165 megabytes per second compared to about 3 to 5 on a standard hard drive. And your read speed is almost 2 gigs per second, which is also impressive. Now, honestly guys, there's only one downfall I see to this and as you can see it uses a good 80% of your RAM if you have 8 gigs of RAM if you have only about 4 then you're gonna have to decrease your size first of all and it's just gonna take up a lot more so the one thing I suggest is 8 gigs of RAM minimum and if you have any less than that this program's probably not for you and uh, just don't do it because it'll really really screw up your machine so this is a little utility I like to use a lot and uh, it helps me a lot so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and we'll see you next time.